it's not often that I tell a story where I'm like, this is a story from a couple days ago. <laughs> it was actually the worst trip of my life. And you'd think that at my level of experience, where, you know, I'm this guy that people turn to for advice about psychedelics and all of that fancy stuff, that I wouldn't have bad trips anymore. Well, this is simply not the case. So it's 3.30 in the morning and um, I just smoked a bunch of weed about two hours ago. And sometimes cannabis can be really good to help us realize certain things that we're um, I don't know, just kind of like running from. And I had the idea that I wanted to film a really personal type of video. It's not often that I tell a story where I'm like, this is a story from a couple days ago. <laughs> so I figured that Given my current state of mind, I would tell a story from seven days ago. I kind of want to start this story off by saying this is one of those trips that actually makes me not want to trip for years. I, I can understand why Terrence McKenna had a really bad mushroom trip in the late or mid 80s. I can't remember. And after that mushroom trip, he never wanted to do mushrooms again. This is a very similar experience for me. After this experience, I I really don't know when I'm going to revisit, at, like at least LSD. I, I don't, I can't confidently say to you guys that I would take it again anytime soon. And I feel crazy being the psychedelic guy saying that I have absolutely no interest in taking LSD anytime soon. But you know what? It was actually the worst trip of my life. I've been having a difficult time with some personal matters recently that, um, yeah, I don't really use this channel to talk about personal issues. I, I like to keep it just strictly the substance videos, report videos, and in the direction of harm reduction. My second channel is more so for the personal story, so why am I posting this on my main channel? I don't know, I just thought that it would kind of switch things up a bit. The point of this is just to kind of be genuine, like even off the bat, saying that I smoked weed two hours ago. I, I don't really normally smoke weed that much, so I just had a really positive cannabis experience that prompted me to make this video about my horrific trip. So I was at a friend's house and we decided to have an LSD trip. I guess it's been over a year since I've had like an actual LSD trip. But um, long story short, I got my ass kicked. I got my ass handed to me by more than just the LSD. LSD has, or any psychedelic, has the potential to really pull out some past trauma that you may not even be aware affected you. It would be a lie if I said that some of the trauma that this trip pulled out hasn't been building for a while. Part of the reason why I took a huge break, and this is just part of the reason, not the main reason, was because a lot of my trips were turning dark. So I figured that, you know what, it was like the substance telling me, hey dude, you've got to integrate what you've learned, take a break for a bit. But no, that wasn't the case. I've said before that bad trips are actually the most healing experiences in disguise because what a bad trip shows you is sometimes the deep, dark, hellish pits of your mind that you may not have realized that you were capable of experiencing. And in a really nightmare trip, you relive all of your worst fears. All of your nightmares come, they vividly come to life. You're, you're in a nightmare. If your greatest fear is say, uh, I don't know, being strangled to death, you're going to experience that. If your greatest fear is, say, being stabbed repeatedly, you're going to experience sensations of being stabbed repeatedly. I mean, I'm not guaranteeing that every bad trip is necessarily like this. There are bad trips that are just purely paranoid-induced. But there are, like, trips where you are so much under the influence you can't visually see with your eyes anymore, and your imagination really can take hold. And this is when it's the most important to come to the realization before taking a substance that everything that you experience during these psychedelic episodes is not necessarily true. Substances like LSD have the powerful potential to amplify the way you're currently thinking. So if you happen to be going through a depressed day or just a depressive like moment of life, you can't expect that you're gonna have a good trip just based on the evidence that in the past you were able to have good trips and push through it. I don't really feel comfortable actually getting into the story 
because it's it's pretty personal and it just brought back so much trauma that I didn't realize that I went through when I was younger. It's an eye-opening experience. Just first of all, realizing that there's a lot of issues that I still am not like a hundred percent with. Realizing that um we can as we age, we can become pretty good actors and convince ourselves of a lot of shit that may not necessarily be true. Like sometimes that we're okay when there's actually a lot of stuff to work on and shit to go through before being able to confidently say that we are um, healthy people. I, I don't think that there's many people who are 100% healthy. Everyone has their quirks and a few imbalances that they can work on. Like no one's perfect is what I'm saying. So I'm not saying that I expected to be perfect. I, I just didn't realize that I had gone through so much trauma or I blacked it out. We can do that too as humans. We can black out past traumas. Another reason that I think it was such a powerful experience is sometimes when I make these videos, I can make it seem like, you know, as long as you go into this with the right mindset, which is kind of true, you're going to have a good experience. But sometimes you can trick yourself into thinking you're healthy or that your mindset is stable going in, which is what happened to me. I actually tricked myself into thinking that I was okay. And I want to say that I learned a lot. It, it was extremely humbling. Sometimes we really just need to be humbled. And there's nothing like your old friend, lysergic acid, diethylamide, to come in and just to tell you that you're not as invincible as you sometimes may think you are, which is funny because I, I haven't been deluded into thinking I've, I'm invincible since I was a teenager. But um, for whatever reason, I needed this wake-up call. So I'm thankful for that. I'm trying my best to actually learn from this experience. And I've said in the past that bad trips are the most healing in disguise. And if I can actually take some of the perceived negative experiences that happened during this trip out and um, explore those and try to patch up maybe some of these issues that I've just never got around to healing, then perhaps when I revisit this in the future, it'll be less terrifying. I strongly believe that I had a horrific worst trip of my life experience because that's what I needed to have right now. And maybe that's naive thinking. Maybe that's me just trying to, you know, paint this hideous picture with a pretty brush. And that that could be true as well. Sometimes we, um, we make things out to be a lot more magical and mystical than they actually are, which, yeah, that could be the case. Like maybe it's as simple as I went into it with the wrong mindset. I was cocky and, um, yeah, set and setting. Uh, unless... I believe you were extremely proficient in meditation, which I have been slacking on lately. And this was a really good experience to tell me, hey, dude, you've got to get back into learning to quiet your mind. We can get so busy that we um, we forget some of the disciplines that can really help us grow. And yeah, I don't know. I got so many lessons out of this. I really didn't want to make this video. And I 100% didn't want to make a video telling the exact story of the trip because this is just... This was far too personal. What I will give away is that I can't imagine a darker nightmare. You've seen my videos. I've had some pretty dark experiences. So when I say that this is about as dark as I can imagine, I, I, I mean, maybe in the future I'll get into more details of what this actual trip was, but um, you can go to some really fucking dark places on psychedelics if you're just not in the right mental space for it. Even people who have had countless experiences before and who thought they could um, handle themselves. Sometimes you just get put in your place. The ego doesn't necessarily like that. After this experience, I looked at my computer and I thought to myself, so I'm this guy who makes videos about psychedelics because I believe that there's so much potential for growth with them and I feel like I never want to trip again. <laughs> Fancy that shit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hmm. I like making videos like this. I like just making honest testimonials to um, experiences that I've had that um, were trying to teach me something. And you'd say, but Adam, you, you make so many videos about really shitty experiences. I, I've had lots of good experiences. And as I've said in comments before, the... The really positive trips just don't make the most interesting videos, nor the videos that are more focused on harm reduction. The real genuine purpose of this channel is harm reduction. As entertaining as I may be sometimes, I never lose sight of that. In certain videos, it may seem that I'm biased towards psychedelics, but 
I, I want to really clearly make it as you know visible as possible that I'm not biased towards psychedelics. I'm most interested in giving my own personal um, accurate depiction of what these substances have the power to do to you. And one of those things just sometimes happens to be living nightmares. <laughs> and it, it's really funny, actually, because since this trip, I've gotten a lot of messages on Facebook from people, more than I've ever had, asking me for advice on how to make it through a PTSD type causing experience. And um, you know what? I, I've, I've helped a few of you. I've suggested a few books. <laughs> Uh, the Psychedelic Experience, written by Timothy Leary, really helped me explain some of the stages of Bardo that I could have been going through and why it turned into hell, because it didn't start off as hell. It, it actually became hell at the three-hour mark. But before that, before three hours, I was um, pacing a lot, and I was definitely saying I was confused, I need help. It wasn't absolute hell until the three-hour mark, which is weird. I would have thought that um, it would have started sooner, but anyway... Point being, um, I'm losing train of thought because it's like 4 a.m. and I shouldn't be making this video. Yeah, this is just a candid video. Um, I hope you guys could get something out of this video. I like to plan my videos out better than this, not just turn the camera on in the dark here and just share my thoughts, but I don't know. I felt like this was an important video to make, just yeah, to balance out a lot of the good shit I've said. And it's kind of fucked up because I'm actually standing here still saying good shit. I'm saying... This trip destroyed my ego. It kind of crippled me and smashed me and made me realize a lot of trauma that I need to fix in myself. But like, how can you see that in a negative way? I mean, sure, the day after, I was pretty traumatized and it's been a week now. I gave it time. Time is this amazing healing. Time destroys us and it heals us. Time is, time is some crazy shit. So I've given it some time and now I can't help but see things in a positive light and see how this trip can ultimately help me learn and grow and have a lot more respect for these substances than than I've shown in certain videos or in the past. Um, but yeah, I'm just fucking dragging on right now. <laughs> and, I, and I know I had another point I wanted to make, but I just can't remember. But yeah, I, uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I hope you could get something out of it. If you did enjoy this video, give me a big thumbs up like button. Um, or if you didn't like the video, just let me know in the comments kind of deal. Yeah, if you like this video, then maybe I'll share what actually happened and why it was so terrifying, even though that's incredibly embarrassing. But like, you know, I, I've shared enough embarrassing shit. How could I, uh, how could I stop now? Anyway, big shout out and big hug and big I love you to everyone supporting me on Patreon and everyone who sends me those lovely emails saying how much I've helped them. That really makes my day sometimes just reading an email saying how I've helped someone simply through sharing my experiences. It's cool. It's, I, I have a passion just for helping people, and um, yeah, it's nice to think that, I, that I've made some positive changes. I, I like that. Selfishly, I like making positive changes. Um, but anyway, yeah, thank you to everyone on Patreon. If you want to learn more about Patreon, follow the link. Till next video, I'll see you guys later, and perhaps next time I'll be a little more upbeat. Peace out, guys.